Duck and Percy enjoy their work at the harbor, pulling and pushing cars full of cargo to and from the quay. But one morning, the engines were exhausted. The harbor was busier than ever. So Topham Hatt promised that another engine would be found to help them. Huh, it's about time, said Percy. I ache so much I can hardly get my wheels to move, agreed Duck. They waited for the engine to arrive. It came as a shock when he did. Good morning, squirmed Diesel in his oily voice. The two engines had not worked with Diesel for a long time. What are you doing here, gasped Duck. Your worthy top, uh, Sir Topham Hatt sent me. I hope you are pleased to see me again. I am to shunt some dreadfully tiresome cars. Shunt where? said Percy suspiciously. Where? Why, from here to there, purred Diesel. And then again from there to here. Easy, isn't it? With that, Diesel, as if to make himself quite clear, bumped some cars hard. Oh! screamed the cars. Grrr, growled Diesel. Percy and Duck were horrified. They did not trust Diesel at all. They refused to work and would not leave their shed. Sir Topham Hatt was enjoying his tea and iced bun when the telephone rang. So there's trouble in the harbor yard? I'll be there right away. Diesel was working loudly and alone. Cargo lay on the quay. Ships and passengers were delayed. Everyone was complaining about Sir Topham Hatt's railway. Percy and Duck were sulking in their shed. What's all this? demanded Sir Topham Hatt. We're on strike, sir, said Percy nervously. Yes, added Duck. Beg pardon, sir, but we won't work with diesel, sir. You said you sent him packing, sir. I have to give Diesel a second chance, replied Sir Topham Hatt. I'm trying to help you by bringing Diesel here. Now you must help me. He was the only engine available. Percy and Duck went sadly back to work. Next morning, things were no better. Diesel's driver had not put his brakes on properly and Diesel started to move. He went bump straight into Percy. Wake up there, Percy, scowled Diesel. You have work to do. He didn't even say he was sorry to Percy. Later, Diesel bumped the car so hard that the loads went everywhere. What will Sir Topham Hatt say, gasped Percy. He won't like it, said Duck. So who's going to tell him, I wonder? Two goody-goody tattletales like you, I suppose? Percy and Duck did not want to be tattletales, so they said nothing. Diesel, thinking he could get away with his bad behavior, was ruder than ever. Next day, he was shunting freight cars full of china clay. He banged the cars hard into the buffers, but the buffers weren't secure. The silly cars were sunk. Sir Topham had heard the news. The cars were hoisted safely from the sea, but the clay was lost. Sir Topham Hatt spoke severely to Diesel. The harbor master has told me everything. Things worked much better here before you arrived. I shall not be inviting you back. Now, Duck and Percy, I hope you won't mind having to handle the work by yourselves again. Oh, no, sir. Yes, please, sir, replied the engines. Whistling cheerfully, they puffed back to work while Diesel sulked slowly away. 